Uh, Sheikh Abu Bakr, we have a question regarding the angels and other than the angels. Uh, we, f we notice today in the Muslim world or the world in general that you find people uh, you find people worshipping or serving worship to the prophets for example and the messengers like for example you have the Christians who worship Jesus in times of hardship and in times of problems in times of calamities who supplicate and call on Jesus for example they say oh Jesus you have people who worship different prophets and different messengers you have some people who worship the righteous and pious men or some people who they claim are righteous and pious and you have some people who go to the grave sites and worship those dead people who they claim are righteous and pious you have some people who even worship the angels who we are talking about now Why do they, do that? Why? they call on them in times of hardship and uh, what is what the by doing this, what do they think? They think that either they will benefit them or they will save them from maybe from any harm or they will benefit them with, with any, any needs that they, they may be in need of. So they, 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 they worship. They worship, they worship the creation and they think that this creation is, the, the creation is, is close to Allah or maybe that the creation will, will bring them closer to Allah, bring them closer to God Almighty, the Most High. And we have a lot of examples of this, even in the Muslim world. We find in the Muslim world, uh, those, those people, for example, who call themselves like a uh, Sufi, yes. who practice uh, the way of Sufism. And you, you find those people who call themselves Shia. Uh, you find they go to grave sites and uh, call on uh, dead people uh, and supplicate to them. And you find people all over the world worshipping prophets and worshipping the messengers and even the angels and so forth. They worship many different kinds, many different kinds of, uh, of the creation of Allah, of God Almighty, the Most High. So can you give us some uh, information regarding these points? I think that it's very important to mention or to give an answer to such question or to give a comment on what you have mentioned uh, concerning those who go to grave sites and go to tombs of uh, those who have died and buried there um, thinking that they may get them close to Allah may uh, solve their problems protect them and so or get them any kind of benefit uh, so here we talked about the angels and we have heard that from the Holy Quran and from the authentic Sunnah that these angels are righteous worshippers and obeys Allah always and never disobey Allah in anything so in spite of this the angels themselves Allah didn't allow any of them to call people to worship him even the prophets themselves who are the most righteous people Allah has created and Allah has chosen them as the best people for forever so at the same time none of the prophets is allowed to tell his people to worship him and you can find this in the verses of the Holy Quran chapter 3 so, under the name of Ali Amran Allah says Almighty and Majesty says that ma kana li basharin an yu'tiyahu Allah al-kitaba wal-hukma wal-nubuwa it's not possible for any human being to whom Allah has given the book al hukm knowledge and understanding of laws and religion etc and prophethood to say to the people and yaqula lin nas thumma yaqula lin nas to say to the, to the people be my worshippers rather than Allah this means that it's not allowed for this man in spite of the fact that Allah has chosen him as a, a most righteous man who is better than the other people in his nation who is the best one in his nation in spite of this it's not allowed for him to call to his ummah to his people to worship him rather than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
So, on the contrary, he would say, on the contrary, he would say, uh, to the people, be my worshippers rather than Allah. On the contrary, he would say, be Rabbaniyun, land men who, really, who uh, of religious, of religion who practice what they know and also preach others. Because they are teaching the book and understanding it. وَلَكِنْ كُونُوا رَبَّانِيِّينَ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تُعَلِّمُونَ الْكِتَابُ وَبِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَدْرُسُونَ And then continues. Nor would he order you to take angels and prophets for lords. You see, this is clearer. وَلَا يَأْمُرَكُمْ أَن تَتَّخِذُوا الْمَلَائِكَةَ وَالنَّبِيِّينَ أَرْبَابًا So, if we are not allowed to take angels and prophets as lords beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are allowed to ascribe them as uh, as supporting us to Allah. We are not allowed to um, uh, associate them as supporting us to Allah. So how come we associate people who are not like that, not like the prophets, are lower than the prophets, and even some of them are not righteous at all? They think that our saints are righteous people, or good worshippers, but are they really are not. Actually, they are not. So that this is not allowed for any human being, whether he is a righteous people or a righteous man or uh, not, it's not allowed for him to be worshipped with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? Would uh, he order you to, to disbelieve after you have first submitted to Allah subhanahu وَلَا يَأْمُرَكُمْ أَنْ تَتَّخِذُوا الْمَلَائِكَةَ وَالنَّبِيِّينَ أَرْبَابًا أَيَأْمُرُكُمْ أَيَأْمُرُكُمْ بِالْكُفْرِ بَعْدَ أَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ This means that Allah does not command us to be disbelievers. This means that whenever you ascribe any partner to Allah in His worship, whether this partner is an angel, is a prophet, is a pious people, is a pious man and so on, this is not allowed and you will be one of the disbelievers who are the losers in the life hereafter. Thank you, Sheikh Abu Bakr. I think we can conclude here uh, and uh, follow up next time in a series of lectures from this book. Insha'Allah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, wallahu alam.